concussion is an injury to the brain due to a hit either to the head or the body. And you can think of the brain as a, a ball floating in fluid. So even a hit to the body, the ball can bounce from one side of the skull to the other, causing some damage, potentially bruising. Most of the time there is not loss of consciousness with a concussion, which is a common misconception. Uh, symptoms most commonly seen, headache is the biggest complaint we hear, but dizziness, a sense of feeling stunned or dazed, or having your bell rung, common complaints. A lot of times there's nausea, potentially vomiting. Sensitivity to sounds and bright lights are also a problem. Difficulty concentrating, amnesia. A lot of the kids won't know where they are or how they got there or what was going on in the game. Difficulty sleeping, appetite disturbance, and the symptoms are different in everyone. If we're suspicious of a concussion, the athlete absolutely is pulled out of the contest. No practice, no game, nothing. Even if all of their symptoms resolve in a couple of minutes because they may have recurrence of symptoms or progression over the next several hours. They need to see a medical professional who knows how to take care of concussions. If they have persistent symptoms, we need to control not just their athletic activities, but brain stimulus in general. And that includes texting, computers, videos, sometimes even restricting how much schoolwork they can do. So we need rest, brain rest, physical rest, until the symptoms resolve. One of the biggest concerns we have in taking care of the concussed athlete is their failure to admit that they're having symptoms. Uh, they feel like they need to man up and, and continue to play. The problem is they're not functioning at full capacity. We have to get them to recognize that they're not helping their team and they are putting themselves at incredibly increased risk because a second concussion, while they still have the symptoms, uh, can have catastrophic effects. So admitting that there's a problem and getting out of the contest is the best way to take care of a concussion. Cumulative concussions are an issue. Once you've had one, you are at increased risk of another concussion. If you have another concussion while you are still symptomatic from the first, then effects can be catastrophic. If somebody's having severe headaches, persistent vomiting, that athlete needs to be brought to the emergency room for evaluation. If there is progression of symptoms, they're having difficulty having conversation, numbness, anything along those lines, again, that athlete should be brought to the emergency room. Otherwise, parents do not need to wake the kids up all night long. Sleep deprivation is a problem and we want to avoid that. So shining flashlights in their eyes and waking them up and making them recite the alphabet backwards are not things that you need to do emergently. 